So before you do anything with the doorman, test that the doorman will work where you're going to put it. So just set it up with the batteries and program it, get it all ready to go. Lean it up against the door that you're going to be placing it in and test to make sure that it works. Because a lot of times, depending, I know it's, again, dryers, it's really big with, I believe, certain refrigerators, it can mess with the door and the door will not open or work properly. And you don't want to figure that out when you've already cut the door in place. Yes? Couldn't you find that out ahead of time using your CF3000 checking signals in the room where you're going to install it? It's not the greatest. That will let you know with the fence because it can overpower the signal of the fence. With this guy, they're more hit and miss. No, the interference. It reads interference. It does. No, it does read interference, but I generally like testing it with the door myself. Right. Um, just because um, with the interference, with, we, when, pretty much when you have the door there, you can pretty much get a visual. Like, yeah, it's going to work. It's not going to work. And also, sometimes a thing that I've heard happens with these guys is that they are sometimes inconsistent when around those those products. So maybe you can try it once or twice and it'll work just fine and then you'll try again and then nothing. Is that more so with the smart dryers and smart fridges yes. compared to the old time ones? Yes, it's a lot more with them. With everything going Wi-Fi and having all of these options on them, it's a lot more likely. And is there a solution to avoid those signals to get the door to work there if it doesn't want to in the beginning? Not really. No, you can try putting a shield, I mean a, a mask, but it's not going to work. Um, and it, and if you're having, the reason you want to test it a few, I mean, just don't do it once, you want to do it a few times. The main reason you want to do that, and you also want to do it on the outside of the door too, so you just take it outside with you and do it out there too, um, is because, like I said, sometimes you'll get it to work properly a few times. You know, you'll go, you feel confident, okay, you give it a minute, you try it again, and they won't open again. Because... It just they're just funny like that and if you have a situation where that happens just don't even put the door in it might be an upsell that you're going to miss out on but it's better than having someone yell at you because the door's not working properly um also if you have a lot of if you have a client that had that does a lot of work from home and they have a lot of uh ether line cables because i had one where it's huge ether line jumble of cables looks like a snake those also em em emanate a signal that mess with this guy so essentially, try to make sure that this guy is by nothing, ideally. But if it is by something, test it first. Give it a, a dry run before you put it in the door. If it works, put it in the door. So, when you're going to be training with this, it's you want to, first of all, make sure you let the client know the expectation of how to train with the doorman. It's not like the fence. We're not going to be coming out, you know, every week to come and train with you. The doorman training is very simple, but you have to follow a very simple protocol for it. So when you start training with it, don't worry about the collar, any of that. You want to start getting the dog used to just walking through the door. So what I did, right now I have it set to unlock. It comes on auto, you want to set it to unlock. So it unlock, no matter what, it's just a flap at that point. Now, depending on the client, it's a little harder to ask older clients to do this, but if you have anything that, anyone that's not older, you can have them simply take out these sliders here. They come in. Uh, come on, maybe me either. So as you can see, if you take these out, you can take the door off entirely. But you can take the door off. This is what I'm trying to get at. Um, you can take the entire door off, and that's that way. It's just the hole and getting the dog used to walking through it.